So I don't know if you guys remember the last yard sale that I went to, the one that had all the clothes, took me two hours to sort through. Well, the guy who ran that yard sale actually reached out to me on Instagram. First of all, like I did not tell him that I had a YouTube channel at all. Somehow he found it anyway. Probably cause like I was wearing a GoPro. It's probably obvious that I was filming at the time. So he invited me out to a storage unit. He said he had a ton more stuff there. And if I wanted to go look through it and pull out another huge pile, I was more than welcome to. Now, do I need inventory? Literally like the, the evidence speaks for itself. No, I do not need inventory. Did I get it anyway? Yes, 100%. I cannot stop myself. I cannot help myself. Maybe I can just pass the blessings on to you guys and do mystery boxes or sell things on whatnot. I'm gonna drown under a mountain of stuff. Anyway, but I did. I went to a storage unit and I found a ton more goodies. My cousin David tagged along with me this time. He wanted to kind of check this out and see what it was all about. You guys know him from one of my last palette videos. He helped us unbox it. He's hilarious. He's super fun. Let's get to it. Here's what happened. Hi, good, how are you? This film. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, and I can I have some Hi, bags you? too. Good. This is my cousin David. Yeah. Right here is great. Thank you so much. So you get this every week? You get yes, every Saturday. Every Saturday? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. awesome. Hey, I appreciate you inviting me out. This is my favorite thing to do. Yeah, sometimes it's too much, but it's fun. <laughs> it's probably yeah, overwhelming. These are, it says right here, Hallelujah for Athleta, a salutation stash pocket, seven eighths tight. Hold on, what's that? You're good. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, this was, I did more research when I got home on this. The Urban Zen, it said made in Italy. That's what made me look twice at it. It is like a utility romper, and I think this retailed for like a thousand dollars or something insane. It doesn't have a belt or anything, so that might be like one defect. I think it comes with a belt though, but still, it's in really good condition. And yeah, Urban Zen, huge bolo. I just didn't even know. I'm not sure what this will sell for, but at least a few hundred dollars. Oh, so comfortable. Yeah, so really comfortable. Really comfortable. Do you have a? I tried them on with back one. They, they were much, much bigger back one. Nice. This is Bachner. I don't know if I'm saying that right. A vintage Bachner, like snow bib, ski bib, with the long thing. It's got, I'm a girl. Um, these, I know Bachner is good because I have a Bachner Love Shack Fancy collab jacket that retails for like $600. So. I figured this would be good. Still, that's good. These are like some AG chevron print jeans. I don't know. These, I think this will sell for at least 20 bucks. This is a brand called Tienda Ho. And I was like, oh, this looks interesting. But comps look crazy, like anywhere from 40 to $60 for these like button downs and cardigans. So hoping to get like 40 bucks for this. So definitely be on the lookout for this logo. This is a vintage Polo Ralph Lauren sweatshirt. It's got the pony on the front, crew neck. Yeah, I think this will do decently well. Maybe 20, 30 bucks. More Athleta. Like these are like high-waisted like joggers, ankle zip joggers. I didn't show this very well, but this is Vince, a men's Vince Henley short sleeve. This is a brand called Danang, Danang. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but these are comps looked really good for these. I didn't show it very well in the GoPro, but uh, these are like some very loose, lightweight cargo pants. Yeah, these could be like 40 bucks. Like a men's large rain spooner. These do great. Frame denim, the lay-high skinny. We love frame. It's just really basic, but high-waisted. Size 30, so a good size. You want me to throw these out? Yeah. Got a little bean. It's good. This is like a vintage LL Bean. It's like LL Bean flannel. I don't know. I just grabbed this because I see other people picking up LL Bean, and I'm like, maybe this will do well. These are vintage champions. 
Here we go. This is sweet. <laughs> yes, 100%. Three people. Yes. Oh, those are good. That's good, though. Is it real? Yeah, it's super real. I picked up the shorts. Um, yeah. yeah, that's great. Jamie Sadock. So I'm glad I looked up the shorts when I saw the shorts because this is a sweater from them and these tend to retail for a lot. So yeah, should sell great. Oh my gosh. What? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? That's so cool. What year was this? 2008. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> This is too cool. I don't know if it's men's or kids. I'll have to do some measurements on it. Yeah, this, I, cr there are some crazy comps on eBay. I don't know about sold comps, but this is just way cool. Someone will want this. <laughs> I might auction this one off. I think mountain khakis are good. What is this doing this brand? Oh, Monarchy, Atalia, oh, this is good. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Where? These are great. Okay. These are those Monarchy, Distressed jeans. I don't know. I don't know if these will sell, but they looked kind of cool. Uh, Arlene Fisher? Yeah. Yes, 100%. Dry cleaning tag. Apple Store. 2008? Look at that. What? Sick. It's an iPod. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Cool. Same with this like Apple Store. You can see the Apple logo. Apple store from, I think, Germany, 2008. I have no idea about this one, but anything Apple I will pick up. Yeah, actually. Zaya, yes. This is like an MLM. Is it? Mm -hmm. It's a good, it's, it's like great. got rayon in it? Yeah, it's yeah. great. Well, I just don't know what sells, but doesn't sell. Oh yeah, no, it's hard. Maybe. This is good though. Is that a shawl? Rain Spooner, it's very cool. Rain Spooner is really good, it's like this, washed out front i don't know if this is like intentional it was like dry clean you can see the tag here so and it's a 2xl which we love so vintage sells i thought it was good love it vintage does you know i don't know vintage very well but there's people who only do excuse me there are people who only do vintage and they kill it crazy look at this is this a vintage old dv whoa what is that yeah, that's a keeper. I think that's like a Y2K. This is too crazy to not pick up. This is a vintage Old Navy. Pretty sure it's Y2K and it's got all this embroidery. I mean, Y2K stuff is selling really well right now. Oh my gosh. Here's that Johnny Was Calm skirt. It's got like these little pom poms. Yeah, I think this will sell for like 50 bucks at least. Oh wait, oh, that's Chaser. Chaser's good. It just has. You know what? It might be worth cleaning up. Mm. Chaser is a great graphic tea brand. There is a little stain here, but I think I can get that out. I think this is like another 25 bucks, hopefully. <laughs> How fast can you run? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want you to blend yeah, in. I kind of want you to blend in. Don't let it <laughs> I think that guy was so hot me. I think that guy was so hot me. I love it. Love to see it. No. Isn't she, she like a makeup? Oh. What is that? Mother? Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, this is a mother denim midi skirt. Oh, I was so excited to find this. This retails for like $168 and sold comps seem to be around $100. So. I think this must be a little bit more sought after. So this is great. Love selling mother denim and you can recognize it by the M on the back pocket. It's actually in good condition. This is just in really good condition. So I couldn't help myself. It's like basically brand new, no stains. A Ralph Lauren women's like cable knit sweater. James Percy. Oh yes. Really? That's great. Every time I list those, they sell in like like James Percy sells in like a day. What? Every time. James Purse. You guys know I love James Purse. It always sells quickly. It's like a three-quarter sleeve tie-dye sweater. Yeah, this should be great. 
This is that free people movement sweatshirt. Like the super scoop neck, maybe off shoulder ruched sides. Yeah, this will do well. At least 25 bucks. Are you gonna see the shoes? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to see the shoes. <clears throat> Catchers, shape ups, if you know, you know. Uh, these seem to be in really good condition. I don't see any dry rot. I don't see any falling apart. So, I mean, hopefully these hold up well. I know that can be an issue. But yeah, they look to be, gosh, like basically unworn. So that is great. These could sell for like 40 bucks. Yeah. Two pairs of Birkenstocks. I will probably need to touch up some of the suede here to make it black again. But yeah, these should still sell for like 30, 40 each. Some of them looks good. Yeah, these are good. Love Sam Edelman, especially like these snake skin. They look really good, good condition. Snake skin pumps, point toe, like another 30 bucks. If you can see the other okay. match. Let's get this. I looked these up because it said made in England, and these are a brand called Solover. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But comps look crazy good, and these look basically brand new. Like, I don't even see anywhere on them made in England. So, these could be $100 shoes right here. Oh, these are like a Cortez, huh? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. McNanny, I need to, like, they have some paint on them, so I need to wipe these down and clean them up. But these could be another pair of, like, $75 shoes. Oh, perfect. Oh, thank you. Patagucci, like a cinchilla style fleece. I think this is for women, like a vest. Patagonia jacket, full zip. We love full zip. And it's like a men's large Lulu. Someone tied a knot in this. I'll have to get that out, but. Lulu tanks don't do as great, but what I'll do is probably lot a few together and sell them that way. Like these camo print blue joggers, super cute actually. This might be for me. <laughs> these are like some ankle zip leggings with the thigh pocket. Another one that might find its way into my closet. <laughs> How much, for, it's a bigger bag, yeah, so do you want like a hundred bucks for that yeah, one? Yeah, okay. fine. Okay. And then, 120. Okay. 20, 40. Got it? Yeah, 60. I got it. Thank you. 50. Okay. Yep. 60. Okay. And 75. Okay. 75. 80. So, uh, 250. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Tommy. No, no, thanks for coming. Yeah, of course. And just. I let you know. I yeah, you have my next number. Time. You just let me know next yeah, time. Right. Happy to come. Okay. Yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you again. Thank you guys. Bye, guys. Nice. Yet again. Now, do I need inventory? No. <laughs> but I got it anyway. We've rewarded ourselves with Chick fil A because Dave gets it. This is what we do after a great haul. Well learned. So good. So there you have it, you guys. Another really great haul from a really awesome local connection that I made. I ended up getting around 103 items, including the shoes. Paid $250 for everything. And my low estimate is that I'll sell it for at least $2,000. That's like 20 bucks an item, which I, I think I'll maybe get a little bit more, but we'll see. So yeah, a really, really fun day. And now the next hurdle is just figuring out how I'm going to get this stuff listed. If you guys are curious in me doing a full video on just how I'm gonna get all this processed and liquidated and listed on eBay and put away, organized and all of that, let me know in the comments below because I really appreciate it when you guys give me video tips and things you wanna see from me. That being said, I'm so glad you all tuned in today. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. We are so close to 100,000. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. It's completely free and it's a very small way that you can support my channel if you enjoyed my content in any way. And I'm gonna be doing a huge giveaway at 100,000 subs, so definitely stay tuned for that. I haven't decided what it is yet, but it will definitely be the biggest giveaway that I have ever done. Thanks again, you guys. Take care and I will catch you next time. <laughs>